Hello beloved, welcome to my channel. I believe you are doing well and mounting up with wings like the eagle. I pray every demonic spirit of covetousness on assignment to ruin your destiny shall fail woefully in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, the Spirit of the Lord laid it in my heart to share with you some vital secrets in Psalm 37. Beloved, the vast majority of people, including Christian believers, are quick to envy anyone or claim whatever success an individual has achieved, even if they don't know the source of their riches. Some Christians may even know the source of the wealth of these so-called men and women, yet they will still be claiming their success even in the name of Jesus. For instance, you hear them say, I claim the anointing that made you achieve this feat. This goes a long way to show how much havoc worldliness have wrecked in the body of Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let me bore you with all these carnalities that is thriving in our end time churches. Hear what David said when he noticed this level of spiritual decadence during his own time. Beloved, let's go to Psalm 37 and let's hear out the word of God as sent to us through the man after God's own heart. David. Psalms 37. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as a green herb. Trust in the Lord, and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as a light, and thy judgment as a noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotted against the just, and gnashed upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow, to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their souls shall enter into their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as fat as of lambs. They shall consume, into smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth and peareth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now I am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. 
He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous, and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him.